here's one uh, from the bearing arms argument just going to look at the nations who bear arms and uh, where their homicide rate is exactly according to the world statistics so this was Michael Moore back in 2012 so here we just got to say reduce that that's that's been proven if you reduce the guns and the ammo you'll reduce um, the murders and reduce that that's that's been proven if you reduce the guns and the ammo you'll reduce um, the murders so he's against the American Constitution or any Constitution in any nation which says to bear arms why would this be now this is the real stats here per nation uh, the homicide rate and uh, this is just from uh, Wikipedia so we're going to look at the busiest at the moment El Salvador now this country does not have a right to bear arms this country has uh, no constitution same as Honduras Venezuela um, is a socialist um, going on communist state and you see the homicide rate there the Virgin Islands are very high even though it belongs to the United States it's not exactly in the United States uh, mainland in the Caribbean there Jamaica is very high of course and then we go down to South Africa in the in the top 10 here which uh, a lot of that is just uh, communism just coming in after uh, Nelson Mandela's rule who was a communist so you see the homicide rate is just shot up I mean you can actually we can look at this country uh, for the past couple of decades and it's uh, tripled I think um, from what it was and most of them will obviously be whites being murdered by black people and not just murder but uh, there's a lot of horrific things happening there they're being tortured their lands are being stolen, being raped, and so on and so on. Um, so, we go down. Trinidad and Tobago, and the Caribbean. All these places, very, very high homicide rates because it's all importing, exporting drugs. These are all places where gang warfare is just rampant. You know, like Brazil. Um, all Caribbean here now Mexico is the first country so it's outside the top 20 here I believe it's the first country that has, has a right to bear arms there in Central America here we see the countries which have a right to bear arms we got Guatemala um, Okay, personal use, Mexico, um, have the right to possess arms, okay, United States of course, so the first one I'm seeing here is uh, Mexico, out of this uh, group, Guatemala, Mexico, United States, I'm not exactly sure where Guatemala is on this table, I'll try and find it, well we see here actually, it's actually in the top 10 so we'll look at that country a little bit more Mexico 23rd here and what about the United States where all the gun control debate is actually held well, there's the United States here number 94 on the table so it's not even an issue uh, the homicide rate as, as a national figure is not even an issue compared to you've got another 92 nations I mean just look at them here look African nations you've got France parts of France which is higher than the United States a lot of the south of France is very uh, high on drug imports and exports and uh, a lot of Muslims involved in that as well and uh, you've got Pakistan here some of these uh, nations are of course involved with uh, some wars as well like Afghanistan and just where is Afghanistan 
a lot of these places have lesser homicide rates than you know like South Africa and places like that um, let's have a look well Afghanistan is uh, number 82 just above Argentina about the same well, Guatemala seems to have uh, had a lot of influence of Marxists revolutionaries just as happening in the United States just now and so there was a, a sort of a government versus the people war for over 30 years there and it just seems that uh, there's still a lot of activity going on there probably linked with drugs and all the usual stuff but uh, well it's a shame it's a shame um, obviously the, the government is really um, heavily involved um, within the nation of Guatemala and that's called socialism um, and it says in the communist manifesto the first step to s communism is socialism dependence from Spain just as the United States did from England uh, you see lots of mine pyramids and different things but, uh, probably it's just a lot of I know there's a lot of drug wars in Central and South America it's very sad but uh, the people just can't work out a way of life they're probably really peaceful before the Spanish came well not really they're probably doing probably doing uh, human sacrifice same as a lot of Indian tribes did I'm not sure if the Hopi Indians did and I read a little bit about them recently don't, don't know much about the American Indians I'll be honest I'm quite ignorant about that but uh, there must be some good tribes I would say just like there is in good and bad in every nation but, uh, is this Quincy Cotal or something I'm not sure feathered serpent and uh, they were always sacrificing and um, people to these uh, reptilian gods I think or these uh, satanic gods not that the one true God would ever um, say that human sacrifice is okay um, his son is, is the living God you know fully God and yes fully man but uh, it was his blood that paid for our sin once and for all very important for all these pagan religions as well as the Jewish people to realize what Yeshua did for us all it's, it's prophecy in the Bible sadly in the United Kingdom it's no longer politically correct to speak about defending yourself and your family people think that you're you know that uh, the, the government uh, you know makes people think that if you want to own a gun you could be a mass murderer you get to jail now me personally I'm not into weapons or guns or anything like that but I can see um, the fact that the figures which, which I'm about to show you um, speak of communist or otherwise governments being responsible for killing more people than anything else in history well these men of course all socialist communists are responsible for hundreds of millions of deaths um, so it's various graphs about that but I'm just going to look at something very interesting about the death rate in the United States um, well we got a graph here but it's not accurate heart disease, cancer, all these things what about the real issues? abortion so this is enough people to uh, to stay in a city the size of Manchester and this is just uh, yearly just one year from 2015 to 2016 500,000 people um, 
so a city the size of Manchester in England just killed in the space of a year and this has been going on for a number of years of course and I think they estimated the um, total amount of uh, abortions over the past few decades are in the tens of millions tens of millions which could easily populate a country like uh, France or Germany just within a few decades the abortion rate the worldwide abortion rate is something like 30 or 40 million per year some figures in good old Google here saying 20 million unsafe abortions take place per year so that's what less than half of the total amount 42% we got one there figure here 42% of all deaths worldwide are from abortion this is shocking um, many videos made about this and uh, where do you think a lot of the, the babies actually go once their brains are sucked out uh, in this uh, vacuum which there's a lot of pictures I don't want to be show any graphic detail because obviously YouTube will just uh, come down on me about that but uh, just incredible I think the figure is probably a bit higher and that's just a reserve figure but of course there was people who were uh, claiming that there's a body parts trade going on Can you imagine the amount of uh, abortions and uh, people who give their bodies to science when they die just think of all of these uh, body parts what, what do you think happens to them I, do you think it just goes to uh, a lab somewhere in a university or a college no there's a huge trade I'm not sure what uh, exactly what will come up if I type this in but well my god um, well there is obviously quite a, a few articles on it on the internet um, obviously used for in the medical industry um, Well, this is what's going on, man. And of course, the Pepsi HEK two nine two, which they used to put this uh, aborted fetus cells into all the Pepsi products. That's why I don't I don't touch them anymore. You know. Um, this this was the food flavoring and uh, the food flavoring was manufactured from this from aborted fetuses you know I made videos about this before and uh, even though Pepsi say that they've stopped doing it because there was the massive boycott back in about 2012 about this but you can see you know this is the real causes of death and gun control is a very small, small issue compared to this issue, which is massive. This, 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 the, this is the biggest issue that's facing humanity today. And of course, other than you know the Fukushima and the can trails that's happening, you know, spraying the uh, smart dust or whatever you want to call it from the can trails, and also uranium from the can trails which is killing off humanity we're just getting this and it's uh, still a, a, an absolutely huge black market trade which apparently um, many of these companies uh, associated with PepsiCo have been found to have used uh, this which comes from aborted fetus cells
So finally, just to sum up this video, um, the UNICRI also investigated the relationship between gun ownership levels and other forms of homicide or suicide to determine whether high gun ownership added to merely displaced other forms of homicide or suicide. They reported that widespread gun ownership has not been found to reduce the likelihood of fatal events and committed with other means. So if, in other words, if people are going to just do violence, they're going to use any weapons that they can. Like gun ownership, um, it's, it's not really, the figures are not really up or down. Uh, most of the nations that don't have a constitution have a high, high likely to um, commit homicide and uh, like this type of thing because people have no means of defending themselves and so crime becomes uh, rampant in the nation. Um, and so, you know, if, if people are doing crimes and they know that people uh, possess guns they, they know that there's a chance they can get shot but look at all these nations that don't have a constitution and uh, except from Guatemala that's, that's an exception but it is uh, along the same political lines as all these other nations here socialist <laughs>